Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West. Nope. Mm -mm. For mm -mm. Frozen Wilds DLC. Let's see. I might be able to stealth in or shut it down for good. And make it work for me. Oh my gosh, why isn't it working? This is only working because I'm on, like, basically invincibility mode. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be very dead. This is only I can only be this foolhardy. Because Because I'm playing on easy and that's nice. It is kinda nice to be foolhardy. To run around like an absolute maniac. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're going. Kinda going the way we need to go. Paper! It's so weird to see Yellowstone covered in so much snow. I've never seen Yellowstone in the snow. I've only ever seen it in the summer. In like the fall. Yeah. Uh, I know I need something from the badger. And the goat, I think. Oh, hello! Man, I can't do this how I normally would do it. <gasps> That's right, I can do ice throw. Oops. Some sort of scanning device. Oh, they've seen me. No, they haven't. We're outside the range. Oh, geez, they got like fancy stuff on. That's. All right, all right. We really, I meant to use the other weapon, but here we go. Okay, it's also like it's like a flamethrower, but with ice. Okay, okay. Here, this is even good. Oh, jeez. Right, all right. Wow, this is uh, this is amazing. Wow, it takes so much ammo. Are they did they die? Come here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna freaking ice throw you all down. Oh, hello. You do have to get like to a certain degree of closeness. How am I not hitting you? Oh, 
I am. I was like, I'm gonna run out of these, <laughs> and I did. Lo and behold. Oh my gosh, I'm all out of these too. <laughs> I am. Oh, is that the like, like this guy is taking a bit more to kill? Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Get it. I am leveling up like mad. You're dead. Where are you? Uh. Oh. So I definitely usually prefer the stealth approach for these things. Don't waste my time. But um I'm gonna find you anyway. Sometimes these are fun. it is fun to just roll in like a mad woman. Come here. <laughs> I'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Man, this bandit camp is extensive. Sorry. Did I do it? Oh, that's right. This armor like heals you over time. Did I clear it? Usually it's like, oh yeah, you can, you cleared it. I didn't. Oh. Mm. Oh, kill the bandit leader. Mm. Is that the bandit leader? Nope, nope, not yet, not yet. We still have more. Oh, cut, cutscene. Oh, taking this seriously. You large skulls, let an intruder get in here. Oh, you look terrifying. Don't let them get out again. Find them. Kill them. Are these Banook Raiders? Are you steel or are you slag? Get them! No so way. Slice it off. Oh wait, I have fire. Do it. I don't see any more explosives. Someone here. Oh. Come here. How did you see me? Ow. Ow, I don't like it. Ow, 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 ow. Maybe I can blow them up. Let's see how much of a mess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ow, what? This a problem. Stop it. Oh, 
Bandit. Yeah. Osram's fire weapon. Whoa. Oh, they're coming handy. The, are they Osram? Or just happens to be the weapon? An Osram weapon. Oh, hello, don't stand there. <laughs> That's a very unsafe place to stand. Oh my goodness. Oh, I could get these because of the blue, the blue gleam I have. I feel like I'm all, I'm pretty good on weapons though, I really, but just like some more nice outfits, you know? I do. Do I need, what do I need, to, what do I need this for? I'll buy a bunch. Because my new weapon is voracious. Put it... Porch fire, oh, what else was that? A squirrel skin? I'm, I'm horrified, honestly, a little bit. <laughs> Forge fire, dang. Cool, that's really cool. I think I shall keep, well, cause a lot of these are like short range. Well, this one's a long range, this one's short range. And it essentially does the same thing as the ice one. It incinerates people, but either cold or hot, you know? Oh, we, where's my, Why does it give me spear stuff, but I can't I can't modify my spear that I can see? I'm orange blind. I don't know. Never use that. Almost. Move. Faster. Okay, sure. I'm leveling up so fast. Is that part of like being on easy baby mode? Cause, cause that's wild. Oh, let's see. Do you have? Yeah. Perfect. 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 Now my map is complete. Oh, and I need to find this other pigment. Blue gleam. Animal figurine. I probably won't get to those, but the pigment has like story sort of implications, so I am interested in that. Let's, oh, this is gonna be very distracting. There's going to be a bunch of, like, supply crates and, like, dead bodies that have supplies on them. I might. I'm just going to look it up, honestly. Hmm. There it is. Okay, so I think I misread the entry at first. One for the coolie. I'm actually kind of curious. Oh no, okay. I was curious if this town, because they're calling it Stone Eels. They're calling it a town. But it's not a town yet. Oh man, I was hoping to get some... Nope, not that. Not that. I was looking for slag shine, but... I guess, to be fair, the... The weapon I have... Or the, out, the outfit I have is totally what I wanted anyway, so I don't really need to worry about it. Okie dokie. are there and the missing ones 
Wounds. Survivor. Oh, it's further this way. Mm, let's go up there. I haven't been up there yet. And we will pass by the young Werak hunters on the way to doing the main quest. So. It we looks like the they, they probably got into some trouble. Huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so. Oh no. Damn. I'm metal too. But my need is greater. So she intentionally Most left. don't accept help. Is it true? <laughs> they don't. I do. Okay, so she's she's going a different path. Aloy would um definitely get it. I might as well take some stuff. It feels weird to not pick up things. <laughs> An outlander. Oh. Chieftain of a Werak. It's stranger in the cut than I thought. How did you know that? You're telling me. <laughs> you fight well. I am a Cree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg descending the ice. Bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. Um, it's interesting, right? Like, I if I hadn't come here before becoming chieftain, like we wouldn't have had that line. So it's like eh, it just changes a bit, which is nice. It's nice when people recognize that. Is joining the White Teeth so important to you? It's one of the great Weraks of Banor. Not so many great ones left now. I would go where my land. I was her shadow on the snow, and she was mine. To be a runner with the white teeth was everything to her. Is she dead? You know this, my land, well. Since our knees were always skinned. All my life. In a test to prove that we only need ourselves. That was my weakness. It sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. Oh. My land won't let you help her, will she? Because of the rules of this test. You're quick as a rock fall. No, just used to being told what's forbidden to me. She won't allow it. Won't take the medicinal plants I found or the food. Only what she can scrape up on hands and knees. I could get close when she was delirious. But now she's learned not to let me get close. What's this ordeal supposed to prove? That we have the strength of our ancestors. That we can survive as they did. When they came in search of a homeland. Some were trapped against this glacier by a snowstorm. Four days, four nights. After the storm cleared, the survivors sighted a tall neck, which led them up into Banor. Well, that's the story I learned anyway. So, okay. So she's not actually trying to get away, she just wants to help her friend. Or her very important person. So let's get her back to the work. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. 
The law of survival. Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Oh, snap. Even if she cares more for the law. Oh, this is too real. Okay, so it's very much like Rost and Aloy, right? Where Rost was like, by law we cannot speak anymore, and Aloy was like, heck no, and he was gonna like leave. Rather Come. than have uh, rather than have her break like tribal law. Frost between my teeth. And this woman's the same, right? She's got her important person who would rather, according to tribal law, die out here than take help. That's where we're going. The frozen flow from the Ice Father. It keeps many things. But it won't have her. Not if we can help it. I don't know if she'll let us unless we can Let's convince go. her. More well, there's up. light. We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. More up? There. She's passed out again. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the way I do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, weakness, electricity, how convenient. Oh my gosh. Um, what? No, I did. Why? Why are you. Why are you doing this? Why are you. This is why I don't have friends. Ow, I would be so screwed if this was normal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they threw down a bunch of mines irresponsibly. I thought it was gonna like do like throw mines, but it was land mines. So I was throwing them incorrectly. Are we too late? I can feel her fever even oh, okay. this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She is awake. <sighs> Miss Outlander. You bored her here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you. The ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive. Which would you rather keep, my Len? Your leg or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. <clears throat> Alone. <clears throat> no! Let me do this. Please, let her. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. It's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the where act. No. Yeah, yeah. You feel guilty. Oh, I'm gonna cry. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. I was just about to say that. We have so many ways to express a grudge. And only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. 
I don't belong with them. Who left her to die? And I don't belong with Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? Work that I fell. And that she endured. Will you? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is really sad, honestly. Like, I don't know if it was like, you know, if she like loved her like a sister or like loved her like more, but like either way, this is heartbreaking because like with Aloy, it was like her sort of father relationship, father daughter relationship with Rost. And on this, I'm just like, oh, like, it's too similar, right? And in this, in each one, like we have the little outcasts have to go our own way. Find cute. our own path and maybe hopefully, at least in her case, at least her loved one's still alive, you know? So, but like, I, I don't know. You'd have to hope, like, it's interesting that she says, like, there's so many ways to express a grudge and only one way to accept an apology. Like, it, it can be very indicative of, like, a cultural structure when that's how it's structured, essentially, you know? Like it's the it's the do and don't do things that need apologizing and like also like this the social stigma of like if you are the one being held a grudge against you know and all or like you know ostracized or stigmatized or whatever like there's a bunch of ways to do that so that it doesn't result in like so that people won't like they're like socially encouraged to not you know deviate and there's only one way to you know see forgiveness or something. Are you? Yeah, you're the one with the broken leg. Now he's home to the cut. My Len has returned. I expect you have something to say about this. I do. Then convince me what an outlander's word is worth. Hmm. You put her through this ordeal. She gave up everything for your rules. She refused aid, just like you taught her. Walked back on a ruined leg. Left a friend behind. She passed the test. That's my word. Are you questioning it? My coldness to bring forth such heat? It must be the truth you speak. The White Teeth shall accept her. Outlander. So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's... Gone. She sounded brave. Her name will always be in my song. And you're a little liar. You're a sure. liar. Like, it's, she's like, oh, I want to be a part of this, like, group or whatever. And, like, yeah, she did. But, like, at what cost? At the cost of, like, the loved one. You know, and, like, the life you could have had maybe, you know, with her maybe running as outcast, which is, like, sounds romantic, but, like, truly, like, that would be a really difficult thing to do, especially when you've grown up wanting this thing and, like, living within, like, a certain, like, sus like, stru like again, structure, like, like, cultural societal structure, you know, it's difficult to step out of that. Um, but still, also, she won this right to be in this group, kind of based on a lie. She didn't accept help, that's true, she didn't accept it from... Ikri, but she did accept a little bit of help from me. And she kind of did by Ikri, because Ikri's the one who made the splint, you know? So she's gonna have to deal with that for the rest oh. of her life, is like this slight doubt that she earned this spot, because she broke the rules a little bit. But, anyway, that was heartbreaking. Truly. Um. Treasure box. Oh, nice, okay. Well, treasure, like, I don't need the corruption things, but cool. Anyway, I'm gonna say thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And my tree tier patron, Christopher. Thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest, honestly, and I really appreciate it a lot. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.